My name is Mabui Zungu. I'm a pet life South Africa community pet guide. I'm based at Linza Forest, Mlala's Nature Reserve at Ngoye Forest. Uh, the species that I, I would like to show people at Mlala's is a Pamal voucher, a beautiful voucher, and mangrove kingfisher, which is come in here in, only in winter. And at Ngoye, we've got lovely babets, the green babets. That is based at Ongoye. And Linza, we've got the pigeon, Eastern Bronze Naked Pigeon, and Narina Trogon, and the Spotted Crown Trash, and the Twin Spot as well. Those are special that you find at Linza. I was trained by Pet Life South Africa in 2005. So I've been doing the, as a, I've been working as a community pet guide for 16 years now. I love being a pet guide because just to make difference in the kids. The kids is our future. If we teach them now, then they will be our next generation. My favorite bird is Malachite Kingfisher. I love the colors. It's very bright and small, so I love the bird. Uh, I work at the Linza Forest Aerial Boardwalk as a guide. Uh, at Linza, we're doing tours for community. We've got a school project that we're doing there helping the kids to come to Linza and sh we show them the beds and teach them about the forest. We do conservation, uh, teach them how do's and don'ts in the forest. So there's a lot. Also, we do take clients, they book. If they want to, to explore the forest, then we do, do the, also the, the guiding tours. The kids program that we do, it does help a community. When I started working at Linza, there was this uh, problem of poaching. And we started the pro the, this program to teach the kids. We even teach them about the poaching, how bad is, what, what does the poaching that bad that is doing. The kids now, they don't come with the dogs to do the poaching. So they come happy to say, okay, we've got this, so we have to protect this, this species that of ours in the shower. So I will say it's make it, Big difference. From Maduba, and I came here looking for a job, then I found a job, then I found a husband. Then I've got married, and now I'm based at Togodwini. Uh, I'm staying at Togodwini with my husband and my two daughters. Uh, the other one is 24, and the other one is 6. So my husband is working for Asian Velocases and Wildlife at Humlala's Nature Reserve. My 24 years old, she's working at the company. She's a operator, I mean, the receptionist. Yes, in Houting. Yeah, she's staying there. I miss her. Yeah, but the one that is at home, she's keeping me busy. <laughs> she wants all the attention. So, yeah, she's in grade RR. She's going to school at St. Jude Primary School. Normally, if I'm not working, we're just going for a walk. And the other day she asked, Mommy, can I join you? And we said, but we're going to walk far. And she took my binoculars and looked at it. said, okay, show me how to use this thing. Then I'll show her. Then she said to my adopted dad, say, dad, uh, Grandpa, can you please buy me this thing? <laughs> so I think she will also follow in my footsteps. I will love that. <laughs> I would like to thank Big Life South Africa to train me as a community pet guide because um, before I couldn't know anything about the conservation. I, could, I was doing whatever that I, 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 I live and for them to train me, I'm able to teach the, the community now, I'm able to help the kids now, I'm able even if I travel doing the bedding see the different uh, places I've learned through Pet Life South Africa. They took me to different places when I was doing my training. So I'm very happy to be a community pet guide through them. So thank you very much, Pet Life South Africa.